Do you want or need to buy a home but are concerned about how you're going to do that if you also must sell your current home to get the money to buy your new home? How's that all going to work and get coordinated? That's a great question and you can probably guess that I get asked that one all the time. Hi, my name is Richard Friedkin, Realtor with eXp Realty and I've been in the real estate arena for over 40 years and you can imagine that I've had to handle this situation many times before. To handle this double closing scenario properly, you really need to understand all the nuances and intricacies to make everything work properly. You'll also want to make sure that you have an experienced agent who can navigate all the situations that can arise and unravel things very quickly. Buying a home this way is called buying a home contingent on the sale of your current home. And if you don't have the cash to purchase your new home without selling your current home first, then this video is for you. Obviously, timing and other important factors is key. You'll want to make sure that the sale of your current home and the purchase of your new home are coordinated as closely as possible. This can be a bit tricky, but with the right realtor, it can be done. Also, depending upon the closing date for the sale of your current home, if it happens to be days or even a week or two before your new home purchase, you will need to make sure that you have a place to live in between those dates or possibly negotiate what's called a rent back from your buyer who then now becomes your landlord for a short period of time. You also might be able to move in temporarily with family or friends. These are some issues that you will need to take into consideration well in advance as waiting until the last minute could be very stressful or you might find yourself living in a hotel or worse yet, living out of your car. Now the biggest factors of buying a home subject to the sale of your current home are all the potential landmines that could derail the deal very quickly. You need to understand that if the home you're looking to purchase is newly on the market, priced right and in good condition, it will probably have immediate buyer interest in the market. Sellers tend to give more weight to buyers without a home sale contingency as if they take your offer and you can't sell your home for whatever reason, they could lose some valuable marketing time, which could make it more difficult for them to put their home back on the market and sell it again for top dollar. This is typically why offers with a home sale contingency go to the bottom of the pile. There are basically five stages of a home sale contingency that can make your offer weak or stronger. Number one, is your home listed for sale? Number two, is your home under contract? Number three, has your home passed all of its inspections? Number four, is the five-day attorney approval period closed out? And number five, is the buyer's loan signed off and cleared to close? The more of these that are completed at the time that you make your offer, the stronger your offer will be. But there are still many things that could come up and derail the deal, such as your buyer losing their job and no longer qualifying for their loan. These possibilities can still make an offer contingent on the sale of a home a lot less desirable from your seller's standpoint. Now, let's talk about one last issue that you need to know about. Let's say that your offer gets accepted with a home sale contingency and the home seller still gets to show and market your home as well as accept offers. This is due to a provision in the contract called a kickout clause. This provision allows the home seller to show the home and still accept offers that may be more desirable and under those circumstances allows them basically to give you an ultimatum. Drop your home sale contingency in 48 or 72 hours or they'll go with the other offer or kick your offer out. Now you have a big decision to make. Depending upon how far into your home sale you are, that will affect whether you want to entertain dropping your home sale contingency or not. Of course, you'll definitely want to speak with your agent and your attorney to understand all the financial and legal ramifications that could affect you if you decide to do just that. There are many more details and nuances to know about when it comes to making an offer subject to selling a home and even some potential ways to get around some of those issues. But it would take me hours to educate you on all of them. I'd be happy to speak with you to give you the full picture of where you would stand on a home sale contingency and ways to make things easier when making offers. Hopefully you now understand how complex the situation can be and why you need an experienced agent who can help you navigate the process of selling and buying at the same time. Knowledge, experience, and communication is critical to ensure that your interests are protected from any potential issue that can arise from these situations. As always, this is Richard Friedkin with eXp Realty, and I'd be more than happy to consult with you about how you can buy a new home subject to selling your current home. Please give me a call. I'd love to speak with you. I hope you make it a great home buying or home selling day.